How's it going, y'all? We, my name is Abi, and today we'll be working on a custom liquid cool build for a client. And without further ado, let me introduce you to the system that we'll be working on. So the client is actually a really good friend of mine, and this is his custom pre-built. It features some pretty high-end hardware, such as an i9 10900K, an RTX 3080, and 32 gigabytes of HyperX memory. And it's all enclosed in this beautiful Razer Edition O11 dynamic case. And we'll be turning this custom pre-built into a beautiful custom liquid pool PC with our own hardware that we manufacture. So the coolest thing about this build is that Michael doesn't know how his PC will turn out. So make sure you guys stick around because we'll be getting his surprise reaction at the end of the video. I wanted to show you guys a close up of the system right over here. As you can see, this is a Razer Redition OLM Dynamic case. This pre-built is actually built by Main Gear, as you guys can see by the fans. It features a Cooler Master 240 millimeter AIO and an RTX 3080 graphics card, the reference edition. And as you guys can see, it has plenty of room for a bottom radiator, top radiator, and without giving too much away, even a front distro plate. So just as a side note, Michael has some cats, so we'll make sure to clean up the system for him as well and get rid of all this dust and hair. So another reason Michael wants a custom water cool PC is not just for the great aesthetics, but also for the performance it provides. For example, we're running ADA 64 right now, and the system is already topping out at 90 degrees C on CPU package temperature. Since it's tough cooling down this i9-10900K, we'll be changing out this 240 millimeter AIO with a custom water block. Here are some of the water cooling components that we'll be using inside the build. I'll go through this quickly for you guys. This is a 360 millimeter copper radiator that's going to be way better than the aluminum radiator in this AIO. We also got some Cooler Master MF120 halos that's going to look great on this radiator. And we got some fittings right over here and a Y splitter. And that's because we're going to be using the Fluix Tri Swift multi inlet water block for that extra performance. And I can't wait to see our water block inside this system. We also have a front distro plate for the Lee and Leak case that's gonna look great. I'm covering up this portion because I got a surprise for you guys. And Michael requested these Azure Blue solid coolant from EK, which is gonna look absolutely great. And then we have a lot of hard PETG tubing from Thermal Take. And we're not gonna use all of this, but we have some extra in case we make some mistakes. But all in all, this is gonna be a great build. I think you guys are gonna like this. We just released a new version of the TriSwift water block. As you guys can see, it supports full RGB. If you guys are interested in learning more, go to the link in the bio. I'll leave the link to our website there where you can purchase your own TriSwift water block. So let's do the build. We are on a time crunch, so I'm just gonna show a time lapse of the build. And later on, I'll show you guys a montage of what it looks like. And then we're gonna get Michael's surprise reaction.
So this is Michael's build. It's finally done and we're ready to fill in the coolant. build is finally finished let me know what you guys think in the comment section below it turned out pretty well we have a really nice distro plate with all of these unique vents leading to the tri swift water block we also have a seven inch monitor i don't know if you guys caught that that michael requested looking really clean with the rtx 3080 32 gigabytes of ram the i9 10900k a beast of a cpu and that 360 millimeter radiator looking really clean you guys can catch a flow indicator right over here how's it going y'all we have arrived to michael's room he's actually outside right now he hasn't seen the system at all and we're right in front of his setup this is where we're going to be putting the pc and we're going to be getting his live reaction now a quick note uh some people are not really expressive on camera and that's okay he has more of a calm demeanor about him so let's see what he thinks let's bring him in all right michael hey, come on in bro up? Let's see how you like it. Yo! <laughs> yes. yes, I like this. I like You it. like it? I like all it. Alright, yeah. go ahead, uh, do the on, honors, turn bro. Alright, here we go. Woo. Ooh, how long how long did this tubing take, man? It took a couple hours, bro. But every single Holy bend was crap. made with love. Now, I'm not gonna lie, your system was beautiful before, right? Yeah. Oh, this is something else, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's that monitor right there. Okay. Now, all that's already programmed. I just have to send you the file, but it'll automatically go to the Razer logo. Okay. So, but you can change that later to whatever you want. And, uh, yeah, bro, it's the blue you, you wanted. Just so you know how it, how it works, we got the intake fans here. So, okay. blowing cold air to your GPU then all of your exhaust is coming from the top. So I would recommend not to put anything on top. I'm sure you won't. Oh, yeah. And your intake is coming from the side too. Okay. Yeah, and the system is is, is a little bit louder than I'd like right now because I haven't set the fan curves. Mm -hmm. Depending on temperature, the fan will ramp up right now. Okay. But we can make this thing ultra quiet. Uh, is money well spent. 
money well spent. Money well spent, yeah. All right, so if you guys don't know, uh, I've known Tin for a long time, since high school, yeah. bro. So it's been like seven years. Tin got a baller PC now. I mean, he's had one for, for a bit now. Tin, why don't you tell the camera what you're gonna be using this for? Ah, uh, just for League of Legends and my Excel spreadsheets. <laughs> So just like he said, the i9-10900K, RTX 3080, and he's gonna be playing League for it. Man, you see you, brother. Hell yeah.